Hello, I'm an application engineer with GORE Portable Electronic Venting. I'm going to show you how GORE tests devices that include our vents to ensure they are resistant to water spray. Here is a brand new phone out of the package. You can see that the phone is in working condition. The phone came equipped with two water indicators, one on the battery pack and a second one on the back cover. Gore added additional water indicators to identify points of water entry on the phone. The testing we perform to ensure that a device is resistant to spray is based on the IEC 60529 standard using the IPX4 showerhead protocol. In order to achieve consistent results, Gore has defined additional specs beyond those described in the protocol. The standard protocol stipulates the geometry of the shower head, its whole size and position, the water flow rate, and test duration. It allows a wide range for distance between the shower head and the device being tested, as well as for water temperature. The protocol is vague about how to position the device and the shower head. It provides no direction about the movement of the shower head. It doesn't say where the openings in the device should be positioned. Interpretations of distance, position, and water temperature during testing allow for substantial variability in performance. Gore has added important details to our testing specs in order to achieve consistent results. Gore specifies that the shower head is moved to five specific positions and stays in each position for one minute. We place the device so that the opening containing our vent is 300 millimeters away from the shower head in all five positions. We position the orifice directly under the shower head when the shower head is in position one. After the water spray testing, you can see that the indicator on the battery has turned red. Also, the indicator on the back cover has turned red. The water indicator by the receiver has also turned red. You can also see that the water indicators in the keypad area have turned red, as well as the indicator by the microphone showing water ingress in all of these areas. On the PCB board, the indicators up by the receiver port have turned red, as well as several indicators in the keypad area. Looking at the back side of the PCB board, we see that water indicator by the microphone area has turned red, the water indicator by the receiver port has turned red, and water indicators throughout the back of the board at your USB ports have also turned red. Looking at the inside of the back cover, Water indicators have turned around the perimeter of the cover, showing water ingress through USB ports as well as the auxiliary port at the top of the phone. This detailed testing protocol enables GORE to accurately represent how vents and devices will perform in real-world situations. To learn more about how GORE testing can help you to design durable, reliable, portable electronic devices, visit us at gore.com or call us at 800-637-4449.